So here's a quick, uh, I guess, DIY fix video for the Litter Robot 3. Um, if you end up getting this blinking, flashing light uh, and resetting, turning it off, unpowering, you know, everything that you've tried uh, doesn't reset it. I'll show you here what it does. If you turn it off, the light goes off, turn it back on, you're going to go through all of that and it's still going to going to blink. So most of the videos online right now uh, tell you to clean the pinch detection pins. Uh, and in most cases, that's going to work, but that wasn't working for us. So I'm going to show you real quick what I ended up doing and what the issue was. So I've already taken out all, I don't know, eight screws off the bottom of it. You have to have a long screwdriver to be able to do that. So uh, there's eight screws all around the bottom. Once you've done that, um, you're going to want to make sure you pull off all the you know, the litter box on the top, the cover, uh, the tray, and then make sure that everything is unplugged, which I'll do now. Uh, and then you can lift up the top section, which I'll do here. Be careful, there is one wire that connects the top to the bottom. Um, but you'll see here, I had tried uh, hardwiring these two pinch detection wires uh, together. Um, basically, they connect on the back, then there's a little terminal um, that connects there. And if the cat gets stuck in there while it's uh, rotating, it'll push right there and it'll disconnect uh, continuity between those two wires. So what was happening is I, I pulled those both out, cleaned them, uh, sanded them down to make sure that it had clean metal contact and that didn't fix it. I hardwired it by putting a piece of metal in between the two. That didn't fix it. Um, what ended up being the issue is if you see here, there's a little notch right here in front of the circuit board that goes straight through. It exposes the circuit board to pee and litter and dirt and anything else that is going to contaminate it. Um, so there's two screws on the top, one here, one here. They're the same size screws as everything else. So if you mix them up, it doesn't matter. Um, but what I did is you take those two screws out, you can pull the plastic cover off of the board. And then I just took a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and cleaned this section right here where it's exposed. Um, there's actually a couple little pins uh, on this chip right here that you can kind of see um, that were a little dirty. I, it didn't look like corrosion, but it was dirty. Um, so I used a little uh, corner of a razor blade to kind of scrape those off and make sure that continuity was there. Cleaned everything again with hydrogen peroxide. You can use isopropyl alcohol, whatever you have. Uh, make sure that it dries real well and then connect everything back together. Make sure uh, if you disconnected these pins that those are reconnected to the pinch detection pins on the back side right here. And then once you're done uh, putting everything back together, uh, plug it back in, power it on, and it should go back to the normal blinking yellow light uh, saying that it needs to be reset and it should cycle after that. Okay, so I've put everything back together. Uh, plugged it in and now it's cycling perfectly. So again, this is to get rid of the flashing yellow light um, You know, basically the machine will get stuck thinking that the pinch detection has gone off um, This likely could be because of dirty um, terminals uh, that I showed in the in the first clip um, If that doesn't fix it uh, Still go ahead and clean the terminals, but if that doesn't fix it uh, go ahead and unscrew the two screws for those uh, circuit boards on either side and put some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol on it um, and just look at all of the terminals on the chips and make sure that everything is clean uh, and put it back together and you should be good.